Okay, guys, uh, those were that was a great match. I really enjoyed watching it. Both of you uh, showed some extremely strong play in the first two games. And uh, that third was really fun to watch. I was glad to see a PvP go to a long match. It's always always a treat. Um, but let's go ahead and um, start off with the first thing, which is, uh, do you want to make any shoutouts? Do do, is there any place where people can find you? Streams, Facebooks, whatever. And a uh, place where you want to, anything you want to promote, this is the time to do it. So go ahead and start Sawgunner. Uh, I really don't have anything on the interwebs I'd like to promote, but uh, if any of you guys are in the Pittsburgh area, go ahead and check out Open Bottle Bistro. It's this new restaurant in the heart of Shady Side. Yours truly will be the sous chef there. We have a really nice creative menu, a enormous wine uh, wine list, and it's just going to be an all around good time. Go ahead and check it out. Say hi to me. Do you guys do any? Um, I mean, I'm not in the area, but I'm still going to ask this because it, it would be relevant to anybody who is. Uh, do you guys do any like? Are people able to call and pick up food? Is that a possibility as well? Um, I'm sure it is. I mean, I know we won't say no to you know stuff like substitutions or you know any of that. Some you know no, higher I, end restaurants would say no to. I would just say just but, go ahead and uh, you should go ahead and check that because that can be really valuable to people. I I don't I, I honestly I would go ahead and say yes we do because I don't <laughs> see us turning anything down. All right. Well, fair I don't enough. see it. Fair enough. Um, okay, I'll throw that out there. Ender, your turn. Um, I'm lame. I don't really have anything to shout out to. No, that's fine. Uh, um, besides, nothing. No, I'm good. I like to give people Thanks the opportunity the in case they need it. It'll always be there. Don't worry. Now, um, okay. with that said, let's go ahead and talk about that first game. So. First game was pretty interesting. That was on uh, Merry-Go-Round, I think. Yeah. Yep. And I think Sawgun are you seem to favor a lot of these expansion strategies. And then we had a. Well, you know what? Actually, on this particular match, because my memory is not functioning at 100% at the moment, I'm actually fighting a cold a little bit here. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna turn this over to you guys and ask if you, either of you have any comments about that game. So go ahead and start, Sogar. Um, well, the idea in the PvP was uh, to pu go, you know, get more pew pew than the other guy. Um, <laughs> the first game, I seemed to have a little bit more pew pew. The second game, I had no pew pew. And uh, the third game, um, I had a little bit of pew pew, but, but not the right kind of pew pew. I kind of, um, I bobbed when I should have weaved. And his pew pew was far superior to my pew pew. All right. So, and then we'll go over to Ender then. <laughs> How do I follow that up? I don't know, man. It's it was pretty, it was pretty good. I just went pew pew right back. Um, <laughs> so I, I guess I'll tell you kind of what my thought process. The first game I was actually, I was like, oh, Saw Gunner is new. I'll just try a new build. And so I okay. looked something up on Ember Builds and oh, <laughs> went wow. for it. Oh, wow. I did it the hard way. Okay. <laughs> and I uh, kind of like read on my uh, dual monitor while I was playing, um, which didn't work too well. And then uh, when he came to attack me, I think, I mean, I think no matter what, yeah. I for some reason my mouse was like messing up, but I, I think was you gonna had ask more about than that because you had like seven sentries and they all did nothing, which is the weirdest thing. Like there wasn't even any panic force fields, and I'm like, what? Uh, what happened? No, was he, like, what, was he not mouse, looking at the screen? Uh, my mouse was just jacking up. I couldn't get it to do what I wanted to do. Uh, I don't know if it like disconnected mm, its a wireless file. To be honest, so, that engagement been, was actually fairly even. I thought what I thought was likely to happen is that both of your armies would take a huge hit, and then the photon overcharge would win. But, like, just because of the number of force fields and guardian shields that could have been there. And it's like, but unfor unfortunately, mount, you know, technical problems hit people. And what can you do? Yeah. So the second game, I was like, Saw Gunner expands like a Zerg. So I'm just going to <laughs> take advantage of that. And um, <laughs> I did a 10 game. <laughs> now, a 10 uh, game into four into four gate um so yeah uh, yeah to put another layer onto that i mean as saw gunner mentioned it sounded like he had a little bit of a misread there in that game he did yeah no he yes. thought i was gonna um, see it proxy uh, you've done it to me so many times in obs <laughs> <laughs> or not so many not so many times that's that's unfair of me to say um i did it once no but i do remember that um uh, by the way, so... Semantics, semantics, but, um... 
uh, I just remember it happening, and I kind of was thinking. I just my mindset was like, okay, uh, I just kind of saw something like that coming. Mm. Just because, well, you should just read the game. Don't read your friends because when you read your friends, you're gonna lose mm. if they try something tricky. Sure, sure. Now here's the thing: you're not wrong in what you said about people not using Forgate. The thing is, though, Forgate punishes a misread pretty brutally. Like it. Just say just the fact that your cyber core was so delayed meant that you didn't really have any stalkers. So when he shows up with four, it's like, well, what can you do? Shit. Yeah, like you're not wrong about that though. Like if you, if that didn't happen and you were able to do a tighter build, you probably would have been fine because pretty much everything kills it mm. now. Like it's it's scary with photon overcharge in there. Even a fast expand can kill it. Like it's it's nuts. But. Uh, mm. It's understandable. Yeah, though. Everybody I mean, makes that mistake. I don't, don't feel bad about that. Like it, it happens. Yeah. I don't. I, I had a lot of fun. I mean, it's four gate is almost impossible, especially if you don't have a pylon inside their uh, uh, main, because basically all they need is a sentry, and they force field you out, and they build up, and uh, yeah. So it is like a really hard thing to do to win with. History lesson time. If anybody doesn't remember Wings of Liberty PvP. One of the reasons the foregate was so good is that it can project a field up onto the high ground and uh, through a uh, pylon. And what this meant is that if you got the pylon right next to the ramp and the other person was trying to force field you out, you could warp in on the high ground and attack the sentries. This is no longer possible. This is one of the reasons why the build is no more near as good anymore. So exactly. it's... Uh, among other things, there were there, there are other stuff that comes into it. The Mothership Core is the obvious one just because it flies and, you know has a nice vision range. It's still nice. It's it's not 13 anymore, but it's pretty still it's still pretty darn good. <laughs> Let's be fair. Mm. But anyway, yeah, those that was fun. That was those games happened. They were what they were, but then the third game I, I thought that was pretty good. Like you guys both seem to have a really solid plan going up to it to kind of survive into the late game, which is always fun to see from a PVP. Um I liked the I yeah. liked the choice of the Archon Saw Gunner. I thought throwing those in, seeing the Void Rays, was a very good choice. Well, yeah, that is a good choice. I, I guess I should have. I, I tried to. I, I saw your army moving out, so I kind of was figuring, you know, if I just if I a move this Protoss <laughs> army, not the not Protoss. I mean, I'm being trying to be Protoss, so I'd just be making fun of myself, you know, one A all day. <laughs> Um, I was like, okay, I can go ahead. They know what to do. They know how to kick ass. Oh, I don't know if I can say that. They know how to kick butt. <laughs> and I'll start warping stuff it's in. Fine. When I should have kind of oversaw that a little bit because I came back to really nothing there. Um, I only saw a few Void Rays at first. Anytime I would go and try mm. to send a scout in, I didn't see that he kept massing them up and massing them up. Mm. So the, um, I kind of tried to go with uh, the Charge Lot Archon to kind of counter... Uh, what started to look up here to be uh, a heavy armor army, if that so, makes sense. No, yeah, uh, that composition you want for is actually is one of the big ones. Uh, Archon Immortal. Mm. Archon Immortal yeah. Zealot is very, very, very powerful. But um, mm. the, only, the only thing you've got to remember whenever you do it, because, like, the right idea of moving out in that situation, you just got to think of it kind of like a Zerg army. You want to be out in the open, uh, because everything has a hard time spreading out. Zealots get stuck behind Archons, Archons get stuck behind each other because they're fat. And then, like, nothing engages. So, it, um, but you had the right idea. It's just that I think there was a little bit of an upgrade difference working in there as well. I'm not 100% There Actually, certain. I don't think there was. There wasn't. Uh, it was oh, two, okay. two, two, two. I was almost a three. I, I mean, you, I could be I wrong, but I don't think I had my three void. up yet. It was probably more of the compositional thing with the Void Rays. Void Rays, if they get above, at around 10, they start to just kill everything. Unless, it, like, it hard counters them in some way. Or you get lucky with yep. Storm. So that was it was a neat game to see and uh yeah keep practicing it your your protest is looking pretty good for not having done it too long I gotta say Oh thank sure, you it appreciate it It's a uh, this is probably the most precise matchup in terms of like it really relies a lot on scouting I think more than anything else So yeah, just keep it that and you'll get there no problem All right well thank you Okay so thank you very much That's all for my personal comments on the on the games today uh anything you guys want to round it out with before we close out no it's you down fun. with obb uh, so open bottle oh, i'm sorry <laughs> you go first you go first i was just After gonna say you, thanks all gunner for jumping in i don't know uh what happened tonight fox or if he ever even knew about the match but um 
Uh, uh, thanks for jumping in. It was it was exciting to do a little PvP instead of PvP. My PVZ. pleasure. Uh, uh, that would have been ugly. My PvZ is so horrible, so bad. Mm -hmm. But well, I'm glad uh, the fo the night fox is gonna go try to figure out what he says. So I got to play with you. I had fun as always. I enjoy doing show matches. And um, hey, Omega, don't run away this time. <laughs> What? Oh. Ring, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I'm trying to. I was trying to tell you how to make that perfect pizza. I'm telling you, this is going to oh, change your life and everything about I it. From this. Uh, make sure you actually add me on Skype this time. <laughs> yeah, sure. I keep trying to add you, and then you like disappear, and I'm like, no. But uh, I do that. I have ADD. Anyway, yeah, do that. And if you want to cast with me, stick around. In a half an hour, we'll have another match. It's going to be Omi versus um, Viper Musashi. He's making fun. Omi was making fun of me yesterday that I keep putting up up against snakes and uh, <laughs> Viper X was the last person you played, so I, it was not intentional, but nonetheless, that'd be a good game. I'm looking forward to that match. See you guys later.